Hey, hello, hi, sorry, welcome back to Prey. We are in the cafeteria. We've been given a quest by our lovely chef friend who's locked himself away in the kitchen. Gotta get him a trophy to remind him of the good old times. And we also need to heal ourselves. We have a medical operator out there somewhere. Got a bunch of unconscious people, but they're alive, so that's good. Need to take whatever they got for us. Biohazard waste. And see what else we got up here. Anything else? By any chance? Nope. Don't know what, if they ever wake up or not. I'm just... I feel morally obliged to keep them alive, even though they may not serve a purpose. Because there's been enough death on Transtar. On Talos 1. Vincent, no, I've cleared you of all your positions. Um, got quite a few corpses here, my god, Chris is... How do I even identify the guy? No, I suppose his name's on the... Nope, just says Transtar. Neil Warns. Dan Billingsley. A lot of dead people. Dig a lake. Name still gets me. Sounds like a stage name, to be honest. Alright. Let's get a move on. To, to Danielle's cabin. Uh, I have a feeling that our chef... Shifts Kevin's nearby there as well. Let's also find it. Shit. Jillian Quigg. Never fear. I've got the medicine for you. Stay calm. Does that mean there's another one of those things? I keep forgetting its freaking name. Telepath. That's the... I will get there eventually. Is there another telepath around? Or was she linked to him? In either case, where's that medical operator gone? Oh, nice oh to see Jesus. You. Nice to see you too. Those don't scare me. Superficial injuries. Nothing a portable medical kit can handle. Superficial. Please. I'm barely alive. Okay. The cook's room's that way, and Daniel's cabin's that way. Interesting. We have access to the executive suites. We'll probably check that out. Maybe we check it out now. We know the objective's that way, so let's do other things. One eight three five. Executive Suites only has level 3 hacking. I should probably have checked this guy before activating that. Never mind, got it. Alright. Executive Suites. Exterior breach detected beyond this point. Technopath. Interesting. What's that? Dexter, tell me. It took forever, but repairs to Arbor Arboretum airlock doors are finally complete. I think someone's been tampering with the electronics up there. When I popped open the control box, the whole thing looked like someone had been at it with a soldering iron. Just a bunch of crossed wires, stuff that's not even supposed to be there. The programming is all wonky, too. I had to wipe it clean and reinstall. I'll have to bring up an engineering operator to clean up the rest of this. I'm filing a report with security about this, too. We have enough junk malfunctioning around there. Okay. Looks like a giant hard drive that's been possessed. Transtar, in case you forgot who we're working for. Morgan Yu, this is mine. Of course I'm an executive. My brother's the president. My cabin. Alright, Mimics. I've closed the door. This is much better than my fake apartment. Cool, 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 cool. Near mods, near mod fabrication, all wave transmitter, shotgun chipset. I 
uh, my password. Memory logs. Okay, check those out soon. Just ensure the room is safe. It's been sanitized. It actually, looks kind of familiar to my simulated home, huh? Got some food. Anything down here? Nope. Monday, March 15, 2032. Okay, we're good. We are A OK. Room is sanitized. Now counter Fermi's question. Consider that there are billions of stars in the galaxy like our sun, many of them far older. Is this the same as the things I've read in my old apartment? I guess so. Alright, well let's play these. Calvino. Calvino. Colleague. Won't notice anything wrong. Eidetic memory. Work obsessed. Perfect medical record. No absences. Danielle. New entry. Show. Danielle. Head of IT. Dislikes you. <laughs> Dislikes Alex more. Need to find out why. Note to self. Research. Chef Mitchell. And emotive operator hack. Igwe. I've heard him before and his name has come up multiple times. Dio Igwe. One of Alex's hires. Cheap to recruit due to his unpopular stance on psychic phenomena. One of the station's best scientists. Introvert. Knows about tests. Wild Alex. Believes your brother and Typhon can save his career. I like how I'm so matter of fact on these memory Michaela logs. Michaela Ilyushin. Chief engineer. Not on speaking terms. Had brief relationship. You ended it when tests began. She believes it is because you discovered her medical condition. Paraplexus. Convenient, but false. Severing ties seem prudent to you. Less painful, given the impending memory loss. Paraplexus. Nerve disorder. Prevents use of neuromods. Requires aggressive drug therapy to prevent degeneration. Renders candidates ineligible for assignment to Talos 1. Okay. Sarah Elazar. Chief of Security. Not a friend. Knows about the Typhon. Not about your tests, but suspects. Is trustworthy, but doesn't trust Alex. Or you, yet. Cool. Well, that's good. That's concise information for myself. Alright. Good to know my shoes weren't mimics. Hope I'm doing anything? Nope. Alex, you. Nice to see I'm neighbors with my brother. Enemy activity. Wonder how this works on them. Let's go. Jeez. Well, that went well. Argento. No more. Argent Pala Goo is what it is now. Sales folder. Excerpt from a uh, Trendstar Sales and Marketing and General Memo by Peter Laney. I don't think we have to worry too much about side effects. From what I gather, there's just a little pinprick near the eye, right? I mean, it looks scary, but I mean, but I think if we can get advertising to push some of the more appealing pros of names, we can shift public attention from that. I'm not too worried about the red eye stuff either. I think any one person in the public sector is going to manage to get their hands on that many names at one time. Uh, not at these prices. What I find Far more worrying, though, are these reports of memory loss during NM removal. I mean, amnesia? Seriously? We can rewire a person's brain, give them any skill we want, but we can't avoid resetting their head back to the moment they got that shit installed if we decide to take it out. If this leaks, it'll kill NM sales. Doesn't matter if you need specialized equipment or training to take one out. No one wants to risk losing years of their life just for the ability to speak French. This can't even go in the fine print. As far as the customer is concerned, NMs are permanent. Well, eventually someone will try and remove it, and then they're going to get memory loss. I suppose they can spin it, that it was their fault for not removing it properly, but still. Don't think a wrench is going to fix that, but let's see what else we've got going on in here. A used cigar, of course. Put that stuff in our pocket. And a lot of people have baseball gloves for a space station. Interesting. Sorry, I'm just going to need to borrow that. Don't mind if I take this bourbon. And I have put my phone on silent. 
all in all a great success in coming into this suite. No tomatoes, it's sad. And we can't get into our brother's office, so forget that. I'm also going to need some shotgun ammo and pistol ammo. Running out on both sides. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Crew cabins A and crew cabins B. Don't worry Jeez. about power flickering. Station is just hurting. Keep going. You'll be hurting in a second if you try to fucking creep me out like that. You know what? Your trophy can wait. Because of that stunt you just pulled. Let's go slowly. Bellamy, of course. Our wonderful friend. We've seen in another playthrough that you can get his keycard by going into the morgue. We need to do that sometime. Elizabeth Bay. Should probably not have a wrench equipped, but I'm running out of bullets. So I feel like I should have it equipped. Just we'll cross that bridge when we cross a phantom. Okay, we're medic free for now. Ties call. Sounds familiar. He's dead. Anti-rad fabrication. Take that. Nice little suite here. Sorry. Probably won't be needing that plant anymore. Look in here. Phantom. Hey, you've apparently misplaced your transcribe again. Just wanted you to know I still have some of your stuff in my room. Don't know if you want it back. Call me or something, Abby. Okay. Oh, Danielle Show. This is her cabin. Shit. Hello, Ivy. Lighters. Probably could have used a wrench there, but... We're fine. What the hell? Oh shit. What's going on? Whoa! Oh my god. What the F? Where'd you go? Oh, shit! I'm scanning you. Tell me what the hell it is. Poltergeist. <sighs> Poltergeist is not a normal part of it. Typhon ecology. Instead, they appear to be a result of a rare mutation that occurs in less than 5% of phantom genesis cases. So this better be the only one on the bloody station. The Poltergeist is only, also the only known Typhon to possess the ability to render themselves invisible, undetectable, even to psychoscope scanning. The exact mechanism is unknown at this time as their limited numbers make adequate study difficult. Please note that any enclosure used for phantom genesis studies must be subjected to a full purge to avoid overlooked poltergeist specimens. Required. Good to know. At least I know where it all is. Someone whack this thing. Where's it gone? Where, where? <laughs> where are you? You're dead. Okay. Not very dangerous. It didn't even wound me. Still. It's not good for my mental health. Danielle shows cabin. That was not Diane. Sh oh, Danielle show that we killed, so. Danielle missed you leaving your character sheet here, but I have a spare in case you don't make it back before the game. Don't worry, it looks great. See you at the Rex Center, Abby. Fortress. That's her one. Oh, okay, rec center. So we do need to go that way. Miramod, note. 
to do. Find missing transcribe, check theater, get my stuff from Abby's cabin, finish draft of apology letter, pull head out of ass, prioritize relationships over work. Okay, so Abby has her transcribe, but also the theater. I might have misplaced her transcript in the theater. I also have a voice sample from the session log. Oh, that's right. That's why I had 20% already done. Starving into cycle book one, the Dark Star Anomaly. Empress Tourmaline gazed past her stern reflection into the inky black. Her angular features circumscribed by the prime viewing dome of the capital ship Shattertharax. I'm so glad I said something circumscribed, probably. The royal astronomer cleared his throat. Furthermore, your majesty, the Dark Star Anomaly will gain momentum once it begins devouring systems. Within a matter of months, the entire galaxy will be consumed. From that point, it will have enough mass to pull other galaxies into its maw. I suppose you want me to fund an expedition to find this star band of prism. The way you prattle on about the thing, if it exists, it might be the key to saving our galaxy. Your majesty, there's only one man I know mad enough to take this on. You can't mean Trevor Pulsar. Sorry. Terrible. Don't ask me to write in order to voice an audiobook. Oh, transcribe broken. Daniel Show. What are you doing? Are you recording this? Joint transcribes are fun. They are not. It's like mental scrapbooking. You both save the moments that matter. Her tracking bracelet. It's not gonna do us much good. Dear future us. Today, future us. We are not calling ourselves that. Today, I was able to convince my beautiful but stubborn partner to... Stubborn? To stay in bed and not report for an extra shift. And this is the reward I get. Sweet. Dr. Calvino, for starters, if you have any more questions about passwords, please email the IT department. Don't use my personal address. Second, you should never type your password into an email regardless of how tight of security is. You never know... Third, the password guidelines are just that. Guidelines, you're all grown up, so you can use whatever password you want. But if we have a list of recommendations for keeping your password safe, thanks, Daniel Show. Danielle, my workstation said that was on, uh, that it was time to update my password. I wanted to know if it was okay to use Kublai Khan and whether that fit your requirements. Oh my god. Anyway, preparing for the concert. I'm pulling a late shift on the bridge tonight and left my transcriber in the pod. Could I convince you to bring it? Uh, for me on your way to deep storage. By the way, I have some ideas for making our uniforms look a little more pop star for our demonstration at the tulip. tulip. Don't be scared, thanks. There's a lot of ways I could get Daniel Show's voice. Treasure hunt. Greetings, adventurers. Each of you should have a map fragment by now. Managed to hand them to some of you in person. Uh, others might have noticed a new file on your workstations after the last session. There are map fragments work together and figure out the clues. Once you have, return to my quarters and you'll be given your prize, your humble game master, Abigail. Oh, and she had a file as well. Oops, gotta check that out. Conversation. Ah, sweet. Nope, this sounded serious, so I wanted to shut my transcribe off. So, okay, so you're asking me if it's okay to record our game on the transcribes. Yes, uh, I know using the memory, it's not right. I can't be having this conversation. Oh, I I'm so sorry. I'm gonna lose my job for even talking to you about this. What? What? Exactly. What you're going to do is have dinner with me. What? You say what a lot when you should say yes. <sighs> yes? See? All settled. Don't worry about the transcribes. It's not against regulation. So, are you gonna invite me to this game or not? Hmm. It's always nice to see these guys are happy lives. And now look at what's going on. Bill, if you're injured or sick, you get a pass. Otherwise, it's 75 minutes of exercise per week minimum. Code to the gym is 7493 in case you forgot. I got the code to the fitness center. Just checking. Someone's clearly been ODing in there. This is probably the bathroom I'd use because it's so big and it's in the corner. Okay, we're clear. Calvino. Don't have his key card. I have a 
Teleportation pods. Note. And does your package arrive on desk if I'm not here? The code 5109 on the gate. I won't tell anyone if you don't. Man, getting codes and passwords all over the place. It's good. I like having the access. No mimics in here, alright? I think we're okay. But there's a dead body there. Malia? Fowls. This is Fowls. Fowls. Officer Fowls. Malia. Malia. I have an important request. It's sensitive, though. I need to know I can trust you with a surveillance matter. Uh, yes, of course, sir. It's just that normally I can't do something like that without consent from Chief Elazar HR and another director. Those people report to me, Malia. Yes, sir. I understand. I want you to keep an eye on Annalise Gallegos. Where she goes. How she keeps. Visitors. I'll log everything on the security computer. Good. Send me your report at the end of the week. Yes, sir. Hmm. The yellow tool up join us for a private celebration of Transtar successes. 7 p.m. Alex Toaston review. 8 p.m. crew demonstration. Sky Braxton and Danielle show. That's right. Uh, these are the. She was Danielle's partner in the band. Maybe Wanted there. to check in on you, Sky. There we go. More voice. Just a Noramod hangover. I feel weird. I can't believe you got modded for Alex's clown show at the Tulip. Are you kidding? I've always wanted to play an instrument, but never had the time. It's so... It's like I can see the sheet music in my head. I feel like I've been doing this since I was seven. Besides, you are going to be on stage with me, right? Only to catch you if you suddenly collapse. And only if you keep me from punching Alex if I drink too much. Okay. 90%. Need one more. Hi, Mommy. I've been having bad dreams since you left, Dr. Preston said. I should draw it, and that would help make them go away. I hope you like my picture and come home soon. I love you, Corey. That's a lovely picture. Oh my god, it's amazing. Would hang it on my wall, but I'm kind of seeing it everywhere at this point. I don't know why I'm so snarky today, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's go. Yeah. Let's check what's up there. I feel like it'll be something. Character sheet. Another one. Fatal Fortress character sheet. Rosalind Swift. Don't know why I'm carrying all these. Some nice, decent pod. I wonder how you get there normally. I suppose you just climb up. You don't need to use a glue gun. Like I do. Ugh. Oh, come on. There we go. Baseball glove. Moonshine, my god. Vodka, my god. Granger's memories. I should still be down there playing. My guys needed me. My shoulder just couldn't deliver. I couldn't deliver. I brought, I brought a lot of autographed gloves with me and passed them out like candy at Halloween, but it turns out a lot of these test tubers don't follow sports at all, much less know about my career, short as it was. So that's why there's baseball gloves here, right? What are the chances, Mr. You could set me up with the Neuromods I need to put me back in the game? Hell, he could even buy a franchise and stock it with the greatest players that ever lived. If I got a Neuromod, would it be me playing? The League would never let modded players in. But how would they know? I suppose they'd just check if you got a red eye or not. And there's nothing over there. Cool. Okay, we can't go here because there's an exterior breach. Fair enough. Alright. Let's go get that trophy. Oh no, we're in Crew Cabin B now. No, yeah, this is where we were before. I wonder if there's another way to get into these. It doesn't look like it. Abigail Foy, I'm guessing. Yeah. Seriously, I wonder. Doesn't look like it though. But it doesn't hurt to look around. This game's filled with hidden stuff. 
Oh, looks like I didn't need a glue gun after all. Ooh, udon noodles. <clears throat> Lawrence Baxter. You've got me really curious. Are you ready for your instructions, my lady? Oh my. This better not get us into trouble. Not too much trouble, anyway. <clears throat> First, you must journey to the tree where we carved our initials. And what if I bump into Julian Howard? Run like hell. Julian the Ogre does not like people touching his trees. Or his, uh, fruit. <laughs> Probably be a lot less grumpy. Anyway. Beneath a stone, you will find a magical key card. This key card will unlock everything your heart desires. Oh, well, I don't need a key for that. But don't worry about work. Michaela said you could take an extra shift since it's your birthday. It's just great. Plants, girl strips. Shit. Let me just tag it at the very least so I know where it is. Got it. Run. Run, 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 run. Gary Snow. Oh, I don't have the bullets for this. Oh. Turns out I found some more. Sounds like he's mind controlled. This is not going to work on it, is it? It's electric. Glue, 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 glue. Ow. Shit. That burns. Shit, 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 shit. Still see me, can't it? Ow! Shit! Give me an ear. I shouldn't be stingy. Heal. Wish that door would freaking close. Let's get rid of our junk. Which one's upgraded? That one up there, isn't it? Let's for that. Shut, 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 shut. <clears throat> okay, let's just make 50 billion noises. Heal. I'm the worst horror survivor ever. Yeah, well, we survived. Let's go get that trophy. 